Hi guys, today we'll be making a passion fruit chiffon cake. So these are my homegrown passion fruit. They are yellow skin in color. They are very sweet and very fragrant. So I'm going to scoop out the passion fruit seeds and pulp into a jug. So I will need like about 70 to 90 grams. I used one and a half passion fruit. Next, crack the eggs, separate egg yolks and egg whites. So if you are not familiar with this, you want to do it separately in another bowl first um, and not crack it like me. Then to the egg yolks, add 20 grams of caster sugar Whisk it until it is dissolved. Then add in canola oil or corn oil and you will whisk until it's like a thick batter. Next, add in salt. and the passion fruit seeds and pulp as well. So mix in well. Sift in the cake flour. If you do not have cake flour, you can also just use regular all-purpose flour. So sift in and use a whisk and mix it all together until it becomes a thick batter. So once it's done, set them aside. Next, we would need to whisk up the egg whites. So for the egg whites, you want to start whisking it with a mixer or a handheld mixer with the whisk attachment until it is foamy and bubbly on the top. Then add in a little bit of sugar. Um, just use, just add it in two parts. Then continue whisking it for a couple of minutes until it becomes completely white and you will see that it starts to be higher and it would be a little bit more foamy and it will come together to become a slightly glossy and shinier um, look so you would use a medium to high speed and whisk it You can stop to check if it's done. So I will just show you how it's not done. This is too watery, so you want to continue whisking it. So when it is about 80% done, you can see the lines forming, um, like the whisk lines are forming. But you could also feel the resistance of the meringue when you try to do this. This is almost done. It needs like about a minute more on high speed. And then I would do it on low speed for about 2-3 to three minutes to reduce the size of the air bubbles. So when it's done, it should be medium to a stiff pig. Um, it doesn't need to be like 100% stiff pig, this is fine. So now we are going to mix the egg white into the egg yolk mixture. So you will scoop a little bit of egg white into the egg yolks. This is to loosen up the egg yolk batter. 
and so that when it's time to mix both of them together they are almost at the similar consistency so use a whisk and bowl so you are scooping clockwise to the bottom of the bowl and upwards so you are drawing like a J or a comma so do that for about two times or three times so you can see I'm not stirring vigorously I'm just folding with a whisk so once the egg yolk batter has lighten up you could add it back into the egg white mixture then you would use a whisk doing the same motion as you would earlier fold it by scooping all the way down to the bottom and all the way up So when you see that there are no more large egg white clumps, you can change to use a spatula. So it's easier to get all the way to the bottom and make sure there are none um, unmixed batter at the bottom. So pour it onto into a 20 cm chiffon pan. Do not grease the pan because if you grease, the chiffon cake will not rise. So make sure the chiffon cake pan is dry and just as it is then pour in the batter level it out and you will bake this for about 55 minutes at 160 degrees celsius now once it's done remove it from the oven and turn it upside down and let it cool down this way so when you cool down this way the cake doesn't sink so this is about an hour later, uh, once it's cool, I will try to remove it by running the knife through the edge of the pan and try to remove it. So normally if the cake shrunk too much um, it is a case of over mixing the egg whites and the egg yolks together or you did not whisk the egg whites into a stiff pig before you mix them both together so once it's inverted out you can serve it as it is or you can make a cream icing or something to cover it so this is a mixture of whipping cream sour cream and vanilla paste i do not have any more icing sugar so i didn't add any but if you want it to be slightly sweet you can add about one or two tablespoons of icing sugar so i'm scooping in the remaining passion fruit pulp And whisk it until it is at the spreadable consistency. So once this is done, you can proceed to ice the sides and the top of the cake like so.
So once you're done, you can take a paper towel and clean up the sides of the kickboard. And you can decorate it as you wish. So I have another passion fruit left. So I'm scooping out the seeds and the pulp and put it on top. And that's it. Thanks for watching.